How's everyone going? Welcome back to another Commission 99 Hey Vlogs behind the scenes um, video. So, yeah, this is the video that was meant to be out like a month ago, but got delayed for multiple reasons. Anyhow, so as we can see from the title, we are going to be doing uh, behind the scenes of the A class transfers, which occurred between the two lockdowns, and I can't actually remember what day that was. So, yeah, uh, this is video was originally meant to be done as a vlog video, but that fell through going into halfway through the um, day so ended up just uh, getting clips and stuff to create one of these again so anyhow we headed up to firstly up to Wandong to um, get the transfer back down to Melbourne uh, the transfer train to Melbourne uh, before heading back into the city to basically meet up with the um, uh, at the time it was actually the um, HCMT so yeah so that's we had to do multiple things this day first, and um, you know, basically, and so, yeah. Now, so we're now at Yarraville Station, which will be where we will be waiting for the HCMT. That video, that little shot has was shown in our last vlog video, in fact. Um, will eventually be uploaded. And now we are at the, um, I forgot where this is actually. This is something in the dining area. And finally the A-Class is uh, coming out. It's been sandwiched between the S-Cars and the um, uh, wooden carriages. This is A-60. So this is um, A-60 which is being transferred to Seymour for uh, the Seymour Railway Heritage Centre. So on this day there were two A-Classes that were transferred. Uh, the Seymour's A and uh, the uh, A-62 which went down to 707 operations and Newport. That was an evening transfer, so anyhow, we went to Donnybrook, uh, as you would have seen from the video. Um, so, yeah, the train is in the distance, um, you can see the speck of light in the distance, uh, and then off to back to basically out, out of Wandong again, but hadn't shot there, and then Broadford. So, this video was a bit of a mess when it was originally being made, so now going up to Seymour, it was unplanned to go to Seymour, we weren't intending to go to Seymour, it was. Uh, kind of a last minute thing that we went, yeah, we've got the time, maybe we'll go up to Seymour. Uh, we're already up here, so yeah. Uh, and then caught it as it was being shunted around the yard in Seymour. Uh, so they first had to move the carriages out of the way, obviously. Um, got, uh, got the A in and then moved the A around as well. Uh, while the N went back to it, could basically couple up to its end set, uh, which will be taking the next um, up train uh, in the next morning, on the next morning. So. Uh, on the way back, the weather started getting a bit iffy on the way back as this also started to die down in light, which was going to be interesting because the train, we already knew it was going to be dark, but uh, we didn't admit, admittedly we didn't expect it to be this dark. So we caught it at uh, Bunbury Street. Uh, yeah, so just a, a, a little shot at Bunbury Street. Uh, yeah, 707 brought a whole lot of engines out. I suppose they just wanted them to make use of their engines while well, they had been in storage for quite a while. And then after this we went down to Newport. Again, all that is available in the main video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little behind the scenes video commentary thing which I don't do many of um, and hopefully we'll be able to make a few more and hopefully be, we'll be able to make them like a bit longer and stuff because uh, this, as I say, this was, was a vlog video originally which got delegated to becoming a uh, Back behind the scenes video due to issues with the um, uh, original filming. Anyhow, hope you guys have enjoyed uh, taking a look behind what we've uh, what um, behind the chase of the video, and I'll hopefully catch you all next time. <laughs>